the first of two important hearings this month for First Lieutenant Michael Behenna. Hi, I'm Chris Castile on the Washington Bureau of the Oklahoman. Michael Behenna's parents, Scott and Vicki of Edmond, and his girlfriend, Shannon Wall of Los Angeles, spoke today before the Army Clemency and Parole Board just across the river in Arlington, Virginia. They urged the board to reduce Lieutenant Behenna's 15-year sentence for unpremeditated murder in a combat zone. Earlier this year, the board reduced Behenna's sentence from 20 years to 15 years. Michael Behenna, who is in a military prison in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, was convicted of unpremeditated murder in 2009 for killing an Iraqi man suspected of working with Al-Qaeda. Well, what we did was give the board an overview of Michael's progress for the past uh, year since the last clemency hearing, things that he's done, uh, the books that he's read, uh, and so forth. We also, because the board had some new members, gave them an overview of Michael's case and so they had an understanding. One of the factors that the board looks at is the nature and circumstances of the offense, and so we wanted to give them that information. We also talked about factors, about deterrence factor, whether this would deter Michael's activity, and whether he was a, a threat or a danger and couldn't be released. So we addressed all of those issues, we hope, satisfactorily for the board, so they'll reduce Michael's sentence yet again, or suspend it. That's what we've asked them to do. Yeah, I, I think what uh, what I addressed with the board was the sentence disparity and Michael's sentence being much larger than anyone else who had been convicted of unpremeditated murder in a combat zone. And uh, they seemed receptive and, and uh, from their questions, I believe, uh, uh, listened to us and, and we'll consider all the information we provided from both uh, a personal standpoint but also the uh, letters that were received from law enforcement in Oklahoma and uh, from the uh, congressional delegation of Oklahoma, the entire congressional delegation of Oklahoma and their support of Michael and if he was released, how uh, they would make sure he assimilated back into Oklahoma society. Today I just briefly said, you have know, pointed out that we've been together for two years, um, that I, or we've been together for five years, I've known him since the second grade and that um, you know career aspirations are long term we would like to open up our own you know force farm to for rehabilitated you know, horses and i briefly just touched base on that and just thank the board for the opportunity that they, they gave us today and then you know with regards to mike and how he's doing he's doing really awesome uh, we talk about just you know every day-to-day -day things what i'm doing and you know the new books he's reading and stuff and he's, his attitude is just absolutely inspiring to me and it's making me a stronger person day to day. On December 9th there will be a critical hearing before the Army Court of Criminal Appeals again in Arlington. There Behenna civilian attorney Jack Zimmerman of Houston will argue that Behenna didn't get a fair trial because key forensic evidence wasn't presented that would have supported Behenna's self-defense claim. Look for more on that in the Oklahoman and on newsok.com.